ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. Check it out, man. This is why I love my subs because you guys always keep me in line and keep me in the right direction. And when I'm just talking about things and speculating, you always come through and put me on the right path. So check it out. My boy, I'm not lit, says we were talking about yesterday how it was, how, what, what, what it was going to be. We knew that the school was going to be Churchland High School or what have you. And we knew that it was going to be some storyline involving the high school. Maybe we were going back to high school. Now all of that's been flipped and turned on its head. We have absolutely no clue if you're actually going to high school or not. The high school, the Churchland High School will be involved, but we don't know if you're going to actually be going there. And I seriously doubt it now that I'm looking at this. Maybe you will go to high school, maybe you'll go to college, but this is part of the story. And with this being part of the story, um, I, I'm just going to read, read to you what he said. He said, it's going to be the PIT, the Portsmouth Invitational Tournament. Say that three times fast. Speaking of which, rock, paper, scissors. I got scissors. I beat you then. Let me know down in the comments. Anyway, the Portsmouth Invitational Tournament at, is a last chance uh, to get looked at by NBA scouts. And it's held in, at Churchland High School. And I said, bet, that's what's up. Are you, are you from there? Or... Was this like 2K20 news, like just, you know, general news that people said. And he said, yeah, I graduated from there. Uh, and I was like, wow. So that was dope. So one of my subs came through in the Cobra Clutch and let me know what was up. So I felt it was only right that I go do some extensive research on this and give you guys the uh, best, the best information that I could get. And so... Here we go. I just went straight to the straight to the, the source, Portsmouth Invitational Tournament. And uh, this is what I wanted to show you guys. It's all about the Portsmouth Invitational Tournament. I suspect this was a tournament that was probably big in the days before that was ESPN. You know, like they had to have tournaments like this back back before the internet, back before anybody could get tape. You could go anywhere and be seen. Now, I mean, they found Devin George somewhere, man. So, I mean, they found Jerry Rice at Mississippi Valley State. So, I mean, they're going to find you anywhere. But this was like a way to get seen. And so, I'm just going to go ahead and read what this says uh, to you guys. Each of the, each, uh, each year for the last 67 years, the PIT has invited 64 of the best college basketball seniors. Seniors now, not uh, underclassmen. Seniors from across the nation to participate in a four-day, 12-game tournament uh, in, front of, in front of representatives from the NBA. The tournament drew the attention of NBA scouts and general managers in the 1970s when players like Rick Barry, Earl the Pearl uh, Monroe, Dave Cowlins, uh, John Lucas, and Bobby Crimmins came to Portsmouth to play. Ain't that crazy? Guys like that came to came through this tournament. Soon word spread, and approximately 200 scouts, general managers, representatives of all 30 NBA teams began to come see players like John Stockton, Dennis Rodman, Tim Hardaway, uh, uh, let's see who else. Scott, Scott with Pippen, arguably, arguably the best defensive player to ever play the game. Scotty Pippen and others. Today's scouts from numerous international leagues have joined have joined in uh, on the annual April pilgrimage to Portsmouth. Over the years, the PIT has been showcased for five of the fiftieth of the fifty greatest players in NBA history: Rick Barry, Earl of World, Earl of Pearl Monroe. Dave Cowlins, John Stockton, and Scottie Pippen, and for many others who have gone to the NBA uh, stardom, uh, gone on the NBA stardom, including 2015 All Star Jimmy Butler. Ain't that crazy? This is like a place. I, I can't, I'm just getting excited just, just thinking about this. Like, just just look at this like this. This is probably gonna be kind of like because you know this year you went to college, you came out a little bit too early, and then you didn't get drafted, right? Because this is for seniors only, we know that you're going to go through all four years of college. We don't know if you're going to start in high school, go go to college, and then go through all four years of college, and then go on. Uh, then you know you don't know if you're going to get drafted or not. Or we don't know how it's going to play out. We don't know if it's going to have branching arcs. So if you do really well in college, you don't even have to go to this. We don't have any clue how it's going to play out. But what we do know is you're going to be a senior in college when you go through this. So maybe they're going to start right there where you're a senior in college. Maybe they're going to start it right here at the Portsmouth Invitational Tournament. We don't know. But wouldn't it be dope if you got to go through high school? Maybe you were on one and maybe you go through high school and uh, you, you could go overseas or whatever. Maybe you come out of high school and you're one and done. Maybe if you're like me and Brutus Sim and you want to play through college like some people say they want to play through the entire prelude and grind badges. Maybe you go through all of that and then 
you're a senior and and it's like you know hey maybe maybe you weren't gonna get picked up and this is your last chance i don't know how it's gonna be i just know it's beautiful man just learning that that the portsmouth invitational tournament is gonna be there and learning the history behind it has been great also i want to say this they said that they contribute back to the community giving seven four thousand dollar scholarships to student athletes from the chesapeake chesapeake uh norfolk Portsmouth and Suffolk, Virginia area. I had a couple of homeboys from Suffolk. They played. Hey, them, them cats can play some basketball up there. And, was, and in addition to the scholarships, approximately eleven thousand five hundred uh, from the tournament proceeds in, is presented to local nonprofit organizations. That's dope. So not only are they trying to help people get to the league, and they've helped and people like Jimmy Butler and John Stockton and Scotty Pippen, Earl Pearl Monroe, Rick Barry, and Dave Cowles have gone through there, but they're also giving back to the community. So I, I, I don't know how that's gonna, um, how that's going to impact the game. But here's some names that I wanted to show you guys uh, that that came through that this year, and they all got drafted that played in there this year. Justin James from Wyoming uh, is, is now on the Sacramento Kings. Terrence Mann from Florida State is now with the LA Clippers, playing with Kawhi, and he's gonna be playing with uh, Paul George. Let's see what he can do. Uh, I can't even say that. What's that? Kendary Weatherspoon, Mississippi State is now San Antonio Spur. Jarrell Bradley from Charleston is now uh, an Indiana Pacer. And uh, Mario Shaya, Mario Shaya is uh, from Iowa State, is now Philadelphia 76er. Ain't that great? Like I said, man, look, only 64 of the best each year get to go there. And, and like I said, it's going to be crazy how they work this into the story. Like I said, I don't know if it's going to be the jumping off point of it. I don't know if it's going to be the main part of the story. I don't even know how they're going to weave it in or do it. I just know it's, it's, it's something. It's news. And if you care to do the research, uh, you can find out everything. We can probably look at all of the stuff and find out everything about the 2K story. Or if you just tune into the channel, smash that like button and uh, stay tuned to, you know, to your boy. I will find all this stuff out for you. Uh, I've been looking at this. I looked on Reddit. I did a whole bunch of stuff, man. So like I said, shout out to my guy one more time. I'm not lit for for hollering at me and let me know that this is one of those things that I needed to do a story on. And uh, y'all just let me know, man. I got three NBA videos coming up tomorrow. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Uh, smash the like button. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. And I'm about to let y'all up out of here, man. I'm not about to try to drag this out to 10 minutes. I just want to give you guys the information. And let's just keep it moving. I'm out of here because I care about the community, man. Hey, bro, let me ask y'all this. Can y'all tell me why nobody in the community really messes with me outside of Brutus Hill? Because, like, it's like everybody collabs and you got to play the game in order to grow in 2K. But I don't play the whole YouTube game, I guess. Y'all need to show me how to play the game. Help me learn how to play the game. Tell me who I need to collab with and show me what I need to do, man, because I, I, I'm trying to grow, man. I'm really trying to replace my regular income, which is going to be a lot because I do make a good amount of money. But it is what it is, man. I don't care about all that. I just want to grow my channel. We got to get to at least 100 grand this year, and we're going to keep on going. But I'm out of here, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until uh, next time, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Hello! Tell me what you think. Are we going to be starting off from there? Are we going to be going through college? Uh, going through high school, college, and then go through there? Or do you think that's just going to be the jumping off point or that's going to be a branch in the story? That's what I need to know. Is that going to be a jumping off point for the story or do you think this is going to be a branch in the story that's going to start at high school? Either way, we going to Churchland, baby! Churchland in the house! Churchland High School, stand up!